right, buckles. So the streets are wild in tonight. You do not believe me? Let me show you this. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you love your mama. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Microsoft just demanded performance reviews of PlayStation Senior Leadership, which Sony is calling, wait for it, obvious harassment. Everybody, that's what I'm talking about. It is not about asking for obvious uh, performance reviews. It is obvious harassment okay i just cannot even compute this and check this out okay i want to show you this and there's a video i want to show you guys it's gonna be pretty bumpy tonight so definitely get your seat belts on because apparently charlie until he's saying that yo are you gonna be getting season two battle pass for modern warfare 2 and the the thing with this situation here is that i'm not sure if you know this or not i'm not sure modern warfare 2 is your first call of duty if it is then it's uh, uh it's kind of like bruh. Bruh, right like you're kind of all right with this but Think about this, okay, for a second. Check this out, check this out. Apparently, season two is gonna be having the same skin that we had back in Modern Warfare 19, three years ago. Bumbaka! That's essentially what we're getting. I just cannot even compute this. They're gonna be selling you a new battle pass, but the same skin, okay? I just cannot compute this. Let's Before roll Before Modern Warfare 2 came out, you guys may remember hearing about the unprecedented level of support that this game was going to be getting. And obviously that has not been the case so far. Here we are five months into the game's life cycle, and they have not given us a five months not even a single new map guys. Bruh. single original multiplayer map post launch how ridiculous is that so check this out right here charlie intel shout out to them as always for always being on the ball this kind of stuff they found this they dug this up for us and this is the exact quote from activision the incredible momentum driving modern warfare 2 is a direct <laughs> reflection of the energy and passion of the call of duty community says the stop stop the cap stop the cap and role manager of call of duty as we look ahead to an unprecedented level of support from modern warfare 2 and warzone 2's launch next week we are motivated to deliver again for the best player community <laughs> in the world. What a wrong toxic gamer bunch of horseshit. Oh my god. <laughs> like <laughs> I understand. Like I'm I, To be honest though, let's actually keep a buck fifty. Everybody gather on. Okay, gather on. To be to be fair though, we are getting unprecedented level of content, which is no content essentially. Bruh. Stuff is not lost on me, man. I'm in my 30s now. I'm freaking old in the COD community anyway. And so I've heard everything from these COD devs. I've heard everything from game devs in general. I've heard everything thing going from you know when they're talking about how the game is going to be so heavily supported to how unprecedented the game is going to be in terms of graphics and appeal and how they're going to listen to the player base and how there's going to be an obscene amount of player community feedback with the developers and that dialogue is never going to stop i've heard it all but when we heard this back then and also when they wow. said this was going to be a two-year game dialogue will never stop I kind of believe that, or at least I, I cautious, I went like cautiously optimistic, hoping that with it being a two-year game, that the game itself was actually going to Damn. have an unprecedented amount of support. I thought that the game itself was going to be finally catching up with all the other games out there, the other games that are touted as like this games as service, where almost every day, every week, or something. Yo, is it is it me or you guys feel the the same way? Live service games is just not it. The name has been buried alive. It wasn't just murder; it was buried alive. Okay. One in the chat if you got the reference, two if you didn't got the reference, it's perfectly fine. There was a YouTuber that would always title his videos like that. It wasn't just murder, it was buried alive, okay? Just like how I always have sadly is true, because Bruh. sadly it is really true, guys. We were wrong, we are always wrong. wrong. Always wrong. At first they say we are right, and then they always prove us wrong. You're wrong, strong, and empowering. That's essentially what they do, but live service, man, the name alone, whenever you hear that, I catch herpes. I catch herpes. Bruh. Whenever whenever people hear that, people go into coma, and I, I don't blame anybody, because live service used to be such a good thing. It was supposed to be a good Bruh. thing. It's supposed to mean that we're going to be continuously going to get content on a frequent basis. But apparently that's not the case. We're all wrong. Wrong. Dude, they're adding more. They, you know, want to keep you invested in the game. No, COD did not do that this year, man. And I, I kind of hope that they would because the idea of a two year COD is something that I have personally wanted for a very long time. You know, picture something like COD mobile, but not mobile. You know what I mean? I know you can play it on PC, but that doesn't matter to me. I would much rather play like a full game that's designed for, you know, consoles and PCs and things like that it has non free to play business models and things like that. Like, I always wanted like that perfect cod you know what i mean which is something i don't think we're ever gonna get but when yeah. we learned yesterday that modern warfare 2 is not going to be a two-year game but rather oh, this wow. fourth quarter called october november we're going to be getting a new call of duty title in the modern warfare Ow. universe by sledgehammer games who just had the abomination that was Call of Duty vanguard i mean vanguard itself like i enjoyed the world y'all remember when garbage when it first came out listen man van garbage is not my cup of tea the game is uh there's a reason why everybody call it van garbage but even van garbage 
had 16, 16 maps at launch and they still draw plenty of maps post launch. So what if I didn't like? So what if you didn't like? So what if we didn't like uh, collectively as a whole? They still drop content. They did deliver on the live service uh, to a certain extent. Okay? Not fully though. Not fully. The, the name live service, uh, they need to get rid of that because this live service name has been so, it has been overused and but under delivered. That's essentially where we at with live service games. World War II settings solely for the purpose that the locations are interesting, the weapons are interesting, there's actual history and stuff like that. But man, I couldn't get past how broken that game was, how flawed that game was, how boring that game was, man. I just Vanguard just did not stick around for me. I just I could not get into that game. And so they just had that game out and it was um slash if you're watching don't watch this because it is Vanguard train wreck pretty much from start to finish and then now like a year later suddenly they have their own game that they're working on i mean i suppose it's possible oh, wow. that they you know were working on this game back during the vanguard life cycle which is why post-launch support of vanguard was so bad but hey, dude hey, holy hey, shit hey, like hey, if, hey. If this kind of cut the cap cut the cap cut the cap everybody gather on okay gather on the thing here is that sledgehammer my balls were supposed to make their game and release their game back in 2020 but some things happened they crapped the bed they shies on the bed uh Treyarch took over it was the roni situation we were through that roni time it's been like what three years now can you actually believe it i cannot even compute this guys three years three years okay so back in 2020 Treyarch released black ops cold war to uh, compare in compa uh, comparison to today's call of duty that was way better but people complained about it understandably so but black ops cold war was kind of decent especially knowing the fact that Treyarch had what like a year and a half Sledgehammer Games quit, uh, or Activision made them quit. It was the Roni situation, they didn't have enough time, so Black Ops Cold War was kind of good. But then, we got what? Uh, Van Garbage, so Sledgehammer Games made their game a year later, and now we have Modern Warfare 2, and apparently we're hitting that Sledgehammer My Balls there. They're already working on their new game. Activision has given Infinity War three years of full life cycle, 3,000 deaths. <laughs> 3,000 devs, they really did do that, man. Bruh. But now Sledgehammer Games is gonna be making a new COD this year, but they're not gonna be having three years. We saw what they did with Van Garbage. Yeah, they deliver at least some content, but the game was still kind of poo-poo though. Are they gonna be able to pull a Modern Warfare game with less time? I don't know about that. Guys. It comes Thoughts? out and it's not actually good. Like, what is gonna be happening to the COD franchise? Because Modern Warfare 2, for all intents and purposes, which was like the thumbnail of yesterday's video, is dead. I mean, at least to me and to a lot of you guys as well. I saw a lot of comments yesterday. People it's saying over. they wouldn't play the game anymore because, <laughs> you know, why would you? I, the game has had a two month content drought not even halfway through the game's original like one year life cycle you know what i mean like we're not even six months into the game's life cycle and we've had two month content drought and then when season two comes out which was delayed by the way all we're getting is dome which we just got again you know back in vanguard and then they're going to be bringing back that map from the beta the museum map was like solidly okay during the beta of course we can and apparently the leaks are saying that going forward we're just going to be getting remaster maps in modern warfare 2. Bomba Bomba dome is not a bad man in fact like i want to see dome back i feel like a lot of people that love modern warfare 3 want to see that man back but alongside that we need new content that's what we need because we people paid like what 70 dollars 70 dollars 70 dollars you paid 70 dollars and all you get is just a remaster man two of them if you want to remaster maps if you want to drop remaster maps at least give us all of them all, all at once two two maps two maps at least give us four remaster maps at least that would cut some chair at least that would cut a little bit right still like we're talking about a new game here guys like 70 dollars i'm in canada sitting in canada like it's 100 bucks there plus taxes easily like 105 16 maybe even 110 i don't even know like it the prices are inflated let me know v v which country you're in and let me know your prices guys god damn man you will actually be able to experience it in the full game here to get a proper test for how the map actually plays and how it is but you know that map is like solidly okay but it's not even a new map we played it during the beta for crying out loud so what is there to do for COD fans besides Warzone? It's almost uh, for context. Museum that we saw in the the Call of Duty beta, it's coming as our new map in, in this game once again. Bomba like they're intentionally trying to make multiplayer shitty. Like for a company that makes as much money as they do, that has as many 
employees as they do, as many studios as they do. I mean, Activision Blizzard themselves, like, they have more money than God. If they wanted to make COD an amazing game, that Yo, is a I was waiting for that line. perfect games-as-service title, you know, where they always have fans coming back and always want to try new things, like Fortnite, for crying out loud. You know, they could easily do that, but they're just deciding not to for one reason or another, and I don't understand. I fundamentally do not understand what the direction, like, what their plan is. I think the thing is, they don't have a plan. You know, we always talk about the idea of a COD life cycle Bruh. being this thing that never stops turning. You know, the COD series kind of keeps moving forward all the time. They're always turning out new games. They're always working on the next thing. As soon How is it moving forward? Like, pump the brakes, okay? It's not even moving forward. It takes one step forward, five steps back. One step forward, five steps back. That's exactly what they're doing. Bro, they don't even care. I just cannot compute the fact that they spent three years, 3,000 days, millions and millions of dollars on this game. It seems like that all the budget was spent on the marketing and not the game. You're, you're telling me that the multi-billion dollar company cannot come out with like more than two new maps every two months? That is just pathetic. That is unacceptable, completely unacceptable. N no matter from which angle you try to look at this from, it completely unacceptable. Guys, if it was an indie company, understandable, man. Indie companies, they are dropping more content than this multi-billion dollar company. Bro, like they are not hurting for money. They're not lacking resources. They got everything that uh, a company can have they got the best computers some of the best nasa size computers they got some of the brightest mind people in the industry they got patents ready they they hire psychologists they uh, dead ass dead ass i'm not even capping they hire they hire psychologists to write those uh, e -e 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 -e, uh those patents that e -e 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 -e, those algorithms that once you play five games it can tell you how many kids you're gonna have in the future if your bloodline Bruh. if you're gonna be able to sustain your bloodline or not they know everything okay they got like e -e 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 scientists working at that shiza when i say scientists i'm not even obviously there's not like dead ass scientists <laughs> but they have activision scientists Bruh. working they hire psychologists because they want to make sure they want to they want to they want to see what hits you in your G-spot and they want to make sure they get to design the system in a way where you keep playing the game and once you have played the game, you go in the microtransaction shop, the devil shop, and you spend like 20 bucks there, 100 bucks. They wanna, they wanna empty out your wallet. Okay, it's uh, it's like the the casino system here, bro. As one game comes out, they immediately, you know, they might take like a week vacation, then they jump into the next game, you know, and they barely support the game they just released post launch. I think they don't actually have a clear vision as a result of that. I feel like the COD devs themselves, I think Activision Blizzard, I think that they're just flying by the sea of their pants when it comes to this franchise. I don't think there is a definitive vision for what they want the COD franchise to be anymore. I think they are honestly going at this from a perspective of they're just making it up as they go along, kind of like the zombie storyline. <laughs> I, I had to poke that in there. I know lots of people really enjoy zombies, and they say the story makes sense. I, I think that truly the problem here is that they try to copy all the other games and they fail to be their own selves. Uh, I think that's the biggest problem because Fortnite is still killing it because they're not copying other people. They are trying to be themselves times two, times ten, right? Activision is trying to copy them. Nothing wrong with that. You you can be inspired. You can try to uh, copy stuff, but always put your own twist, right? You you can do that. It's perfectly fine. Everything, all the movies, all, all the music you listen to nowadays, all the YouTube videos, everyone you watch, we are all inspired off of something and someone, and it's perfectly fine. This is how we evolve, right? Because if somebody does it better, you take their idea, but you also put your own twist to it, and all of a sudden you have created something completely unique, and you have two separate things to enjoy and to look from and look at right it, it's uh, how the movies work sometimes too but the problem here is that activision has followed the the fortnite model the battle pass model but the battle pass sucks in this game there is barely any content it's garbage it's like uninspired completely worthless it's not even worth ten dollars like the uh, Fortnite, they at least drop more content. They they drop some content that that feels like even I, I don't play Fortnite. I don't like it. I don't hate it. I just don't play it. It's not my cup of tea. But it's one of those games that uh, when you look at it, even if you don't like it, you can tell that there is heart into it. There they were inspired. But when you look at Call of Duty, it's like there is nothing, nothing new in this game. Like everything is recycled, everything is a remaster, bro. Really pay attention to it, but dude, <laughs> the zombie storyline's pretty nuts in the Treyarch games, anyway. If you really try to look at it as someone who doesn't really know much going in, you just assume there were like zombies that you know arose from the dead, and that was it. Oh no, it starts back at the very beginning of time where there was like two entities and space worms and shit. Like that, you know, it, it, they kind of just made up as it went along. 
obviously it worked out. Zombies fans are pretty happy, but when it comes to like the actual COD franchise, let me tell you, we're not happy, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not happy with that either, man. But I do agree with that. Black Ops 3 with the Shadow Man and uh, Dr. Monty, the space entities, whatever. That uh, that was actually busting. Like a lot of people like that, Bruh. and a lot of people didn't at the same time. But there was at least something with Black Ops Three Zombies that everybody loved. Maybe you didn't uh, rock. Maybe you didn't get hit in the G spot with the with the gobble gums. Maybe you didn't like the liquid dominiums. Maybe you didn't like this. Maybe you didn't like the the pack a bunch of billies. What now? Whatever. But there uh, at least there was something about that game that everybody loved. The high runs were fired. The E strikes were fired. If you're not an E strike player, it doesn't matter. You can actually camp in the game and you can actually where's that where's that you can actually play the game the way you like that's essentially what it was uh, you remember the giant they remastered the giant and, and i remember when they first revealed it man the hype was insane man the graphics were insane for that 2015 time right and the giant was one of those maps it's like if you if you're an e-strike player there is a little bit in that but that map is not for you if you're a high runner player oh hell yeah that map is for you you love training zombies that map is for you if you don't like training zombies you love camping that map is for you then they came out with the rise and Dracha, all around the best map of, in my opinion of all time in the zombies history for unique one uh, wonder weapons you love making wonder weapons you can do that if you don't like it hey we still got the reagan in the box you love camping yep you can camp in that map you don't like camping you can easily train you you got the you, you can play with four people as well and everybody can have their own training spot or camping spot or you guys can all come together as one and camp at the at one area with wonder waffa wonder waffa yeah we had wonder waffa if you got the dg2 uh, i'm forgetting a lot of stuff because that came out back in 2016 and I, I haven't played zombies in in a long long time as a but whole good times. they're definitely making it up as they go along they act like there's some grand plan for what they're doing maybe that grand plan is put out mediocre shitty products as often as possible to continue to make money to continue to you know appease their shareholders that might just be the plan that might be their actual vision we saw in a recent video of mine Damn. i'll put up right here how before warzone came out the cod series would make a ton of money in quarter four when you know the brand new game came out the, the beta was out and all the hype was behind the game and then as soon as we get into the next year quarters one two and three it just plummets right down well then in 2020 when warzone came out you know it still plummets yep. every now and then but in general but it's like streamlined see what i'm saying guys they're making money they're not hurting for money i just don't understand this incompetence well like the revenue stream for cod is a lot more streamlined that's when they went to the idea of the battle pass that's when they really started cutting all the interesting progressional content from the game and then just putting that stuff in the shop and that's of course also when they stopped caring about multiplayer and really started focusing in on other things like warzone and now dmz i will say the raids that we have like the spec ops raids in Modern Warfare 2 the first one was fantastic i hope the rest of them are also pretty good i hope we actually get a bunch more before cod 2023 for crying out loud like some of the stuff they do is good but it's clear that they're kind of just going at this from a perspective of put out a product Product that is decent enough to get people interested and get people hyped to get people to actually drop money on the game have them play the game for a little bit and they, then they spend most of their money in the marketing campaign you you guys remember that van garbage zombies trailer uh, because somebody brought it up i believe it was coast of hope over on twitter that was like remember the vanguard zombies trailer and i was like bro that was some of the best thing ever the trailer was so crazy and when we got the game it was like uh, okay. giggity, giggity, giggity. It was basically nothing. It was like uh, hey, yo, what the, the maps were all remastered was taken from the campaign and there was no unique map They even cut the round system. There was no pausing button. No ray gun and no zombies uh, crew There was nothing zombies about it. It was soulless completely soulless But in the in the trailer they acted so ha hard uh, that people started shaking <gasps> Oh, I'm shaking. Even I was shaking. To and be get honest. them thinking about that next game, regardless of how good it's going to be. You know, try to bank on that nostalgia. Bring back things like the Modern Warfare title. Bring back characters like Price. Bring back the Black Ops series like they're doing in COD 2024. You know, bring back Woods and Hudson and all them, and just kind of bank on that nostalgia. Get their seventy dollars a year, and then just be happy with it. That seems like what they're doing right now. And going back to what we said, like full circle here towards the very beginning of the video. Damn. You know, the incredible momentum driving Modern Warfare 2 is a direct reflection <laughs> of the energy and passion, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently, we're not energetic. To be honest, uh, it is unprecedented level of content. <laughs> but we expected more, but they were not lying when they said that. We are getting unprecedented level of content right now. We're passionate enough. Bruh. Apparently. And as we look ahead to an unprecedented level of support for Modern Warfare 2. Dude, I, I think Vanguard got more updates than, than this. And that's saying something. Because if you guys oh, remember oh back God. in Vanguard, the Sledgehammer devs were on vacation half the time. <laughs> so, again, it's... <laughs> It's one of it's not like the biggest lie. Ladies lion. and gentlemen, this is one of those videos that you should not check out, okay? You should really not because this just happened today. Like Swag and Nadia, I'm telling you, man, this is a duo that's going absolutely crazy. Or click the video on the left. This is on my second channel because US has shot down a UFO. Deadass! Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing this stuff. And I will see you right there.